This lesson is going to serve as sort of a, uh, an expansion upon what you already know, and that's the complementary infinitive use. Uh, the accusative and infinitive use, your, your book refers to this as the objective use of the infinitive. And this is a perfectly fine uh, uh, way to refer to this, but uh, I don't think we need to get that complex what you're going to remember is that with an infinitive, if it has a stated subject, that subject will be in the accusative case. So let's take a look first at the complementary infinitive. You remember that the complementary infinitive completes an idea. It completes the idea of a main verb. So in the sentence, uh, wolo curare, here's our infinitive. Wolo, I want. What do I want? I want to run. I wish to run. So curare is the complementary infinitive. Or another example, non vis correre. You don't want to run. So here, our complementary infinitive is completing the idea. In both of these situations, in this first one, I don't want to run, I am the subject of the infinitive. You don't want to run, you are the subject of the infinitive. We don't need to state uh, the subject explicitly. It's already in the main verb. But, if that verb if that correre were to have a different subject, if I wanted to say instead, I want you to run, or you don't want me to run, that you and me is going to be in the, in the accusative. So let's take a look at a couple of these. So this is that accusative subject, okay, an infinitive with an accusative subject. So wolo te correre, I want you, accusative subject, to run. I want you to run, or Malumus hostes discatera, we prefer the enemy to depart. All right, so hostes here, the accusative subject of the infinite of, the, of what once was a complementary infinitive. So we've changed the subject by using the accusative. Or volebant puella modera nos, they wanted the girl, here's our accusative subject, to see, and now nos another accusative, but this is the direct object of widere. Right, so they wanted the girl to see us. Now you might ask, well, you've got two accusatives. How do I know which is the accusative subject and which is the object of the infinitive? Uh, and two things will help you, context and word order. Right, so generally, the subject will be placed first before the object. Uh, that's not always the case. Uh, if context suggests something else, then you, you'll have to change uh, your interpretation of the sentence. But generally, that's what you can uh, use.